There you go, Christmas lights are on and they're gonna stay on all day. Nice booty shake. <laughs> we can't forget the key and I'm gonna place the key right there. Door. It is actually only 7.30 and we are going out this morning. We have decided to go to the shops. I've got his dummy. Um, we have decided to go to the shops quickly this morning because we don't want to get in the rush of Christmas Eve shopping. You know, everyone's just like, oh no, we have to do our last things and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this morning we need to get, you know, tea, coffee and all that kind of stuff so when people come over. Breakfast stuff. Breakfast stuff. And then we also want to get a Christmas outfit for Freddie and hopefully a Christmas book. But we'll just see what happens. I'm so sunburned. Jason is so sunburned from yesterday from gardening. It's like really bad. You can't even see in this lighting, but it's, it's very painful having sunburn with the child. Although I'm very sunburned from doing the gardening, I'm very impressed with it. It looks so yeah, good, guys. Yeah, our garden looks so it. good. It's a shame you guys can't see it, but. Got a little bit more to go, which I'm just gonna do today, but I'm gonna rub out on that idea. Yeah. I think the weeds look good. In the car park for the shops, and there's literally no one in here. Well, there's a few cars. But I thought there was going to be way more cars than this, but apparently not. So we are going to go do some shopping. I'm actually quite excited to get this over and done with. Let's go shopping. Are you ready, boys? Yes. Yeah. Good, thanks. How are you? Good. What can I get for you? Um, what do you want? I thought I was going to go a um, regular skinny cat to take off. Yeah. Oh, can I please get a regular hot white chocolate? Me and Jason are just in Target at the moment. We've been to Kmart and we've been to Woolworths and we've done a little grocery shop. We got a Christmas top for Freddy. We we're, we're trying to get like a whole outfit, but there was none in the inside, so we had to we had to uh, go with the Christmas top. But we're just in Target, just looking at some clothes for Jason even though he did say yesterday that he has way too many clothes we're looking at clothes again honestly I don't care because Jason loves clothes I feel like Jason loves clothes more than I do but the only bad thing that is happening right now with our shop is that we're meant to be getting Whitman's chocolates for Jason's parents but we can't find them anywhere 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 literally anywhere so I think we have to go to another shop to just go get them which is frustrating. He's gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bless ya. Got to Big W and we found a small one of the chocolates that we want. These are the chocolates that we want, the Whitman's chocolates, but we need to find a big one. It's not looking very good. We might have to get two. Looks like we're going to just go with the little ones because there's none here. Unless you got a small one. Let's get him some roses. And we're looking at the Whitman's. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the car, and we are heading home. And Jason decides to get the Whitman's chocolates out. The ones that I bought for my mummy. He bought. For, did you just say your mummy? Going to head home, guys. <laughs> so we'll see you when we get home. We're home, and Freddie has passed out. What? I told you we had golden syrup. Sorry. Well, now we have two for pancakes tomorrow. Good thinking, ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> but, so we've decided that we're going to make our, what are they? Gingerbread men. Yeah. Gonna make our gingerbread men while Frederick is asleep, um, so he can't bother us. So Jason's going to make him, because Jason is the cook in our house, aren't you? I'm a cook, I'm a chef. Jason, because you're, you're baking, you should put your apron on. Who needs a chef when you have a husband? Hey. Yeah. You're so good. So Jason's just making the little, the batch. What are you putting in at the moment? Mixed spice. Oh yeah. It says, it says like a tablespoon, a teaspoon of nutmeg and a teaspoon of this, a teaspoon of that. So I'm just, just putting a bit of my. Your own thing in. Just doing my own thing really. And then I over here was making the wet ingredients, which is but 
butter, sugar, and golden syrup. Jason, stop laughing about that saying. I just said wet. Nice beady shake. <laughs> Jason. Oh, it smells so good. Egg. Go on. Go. Someone's going to comment and be like, that is not how you make gingerbread man. <laughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. You dropped your dummy dum dum. You dropped your dum dum. You ready to come out of bed? You had a good nap, didn't you? It was almost two hours. Uh, uh. Come on. Rolly poly. Daddy? Come say hello to Daddy. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Look. Hello. Hey, Daddies. Oh, look, Freddie, look what Mummy and Daddy made. We finished all our gingerbread men. Don't mind that one. We finished all our gingerbread men in time and they're so in sync. Like literally, look at them except for that one. Don't look at that one. Look at them. They look like they're exactly the same. Typically these gingerbread men are for Jason's parents, my in-laws, because the last few years we've gave them gingerbread men so we're just like, we'll just keep on doing it. So, I guess it's a tradition now, isn't it, Jason? Pretty much. Pretty much, it is. So, we made them again, and we made them from scratch this time. This is the first time we've ever made them from scratch. And I do have to say, they turned out pretty goddamn good, didn't they, Freddy? Do you like them? Maybe you can have one tomorrow. Maybe you can have one tomorrow. So, Jason is sunbaking just out there. And while he's out there, I can get up to no good and do the rest of his secret present. Come on, Freddy. We have to do the rest of his secret present. I'll show you yesterday what Freddy's artwork turned out to look like, but basically you can get an idea of what it turned out to look like. But I've, but I've just cut it in this and I wanna show you guys because it looks so good. Look at it, look how good it looks. I am so, so, so happy with how it looks in the frame. Like honestly, so happy. I tried to get a hand print, but there's not really a hand print on this one. There was this hand print that I wanted to get, but I didn't like the colors around it. And I just thought this was so much nicer. There you go, it's under the Christmas tree and ready to be opened tomorrow morning. Now you wanna have a look at our Christmas tree and just look, not at the dog hair that's just chilling next to it. But look at how many presents we have under our Christmas tree. So all the, the red ones, all these ones here are all Fredericks. And then all of these ones are like other family members. So that is our Christmas tree. It's insane. And I can't wait to light up our Christmas tree for the last time before Christmas. It's so exciting. Actually, guys, I might just put it on now because I'm so excited. There you go, Christmas lights are on and they're gonna stay on all day. So it's, it's a bit later now, guys. It is currently, it's seven o'clock. And um, how the Grinch just, how the Grinch stole Christmas just came on the TV, didn't it, Freddy? So we're going to sit down and watch it. Um, it's Freddy's first Christmas film also, which is quite exciting. I love this movie. Do you love, have you seen this movie before? You never? Know it's very, very, very old. I was a kid when this movie was made. Well, we're gonna sit down and watch this movie and then we are going to put out, what are we gonna put out, Freddie? We're gonna put out the cookies, the milk, and the carrots. And water. And water. Oh, and Jason also said that we're gonna leave a cider for Santa because he's a hardworking man yeah. and he deserves a cider. Because we don't have beer in the house, we do have cider, so... No, because everybody's going to leave in beer anyway, so he's going to want a cider. Yeah, plus the cider we've got is low carb, so even better for Santa. Because he's put on a couple of he's, kilos. He's put on a couple of kilos this, this, this season. Time to do the cookies! 
and the reindeer stuff. Yes. So what do we need, Frederick? Some carrots. Some carrots. Is this enough? That's probably too many. They're gonna get carrots at every house, but they just need a couple. Okay. Some cookies for Santa. Some cookies for Santa. Cookies for Santa. See, it even says cookies for Santa. So these are the cookies that are we are giving Santa. For Santa, he only needs three. Yeah, he doesn't need that many, does he, Fred? Cider. The last thing that we need to make sure we let give Santa. Ah! Oh, the key. Oh. We need to give him the key. So he can get inside and put so all your presents there. So he can get inside, because we, we don't have a chimney, do we? So we'll leave a key out for so it. So we have to give him the key, okay? He's going to place them right here on the table. And we can't, we can't forget the key, and I'm going to place the key right there. So we'll have a drink, sit down, have a bit of a break. We'll say thank you, Santa. Thank you, Santa. Thank you, Santa. Thank you, Santa. Come on, let's go inside. In Santa's cookies, cider, and the reindeer's carrots are all left outside, also with our key for our house. Because like we said, we don't have a chimney in this house. So Santa has to get into our house somehow. But anyway, guys, we are going to get going for the night so we can enjoy the rest of our Christmas Eve together. We hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and we can't wait to see you guys on Boxing Day. So we hope you all enjoy today's vlog and we'll see you guys yeah. tomorrow. Bye. Say goodbye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas.